Hey, what's up? It's Lorenzo from Quality Mobile Video. Today we're going to go through and show you how to do an install with a Metro wiring harness and the Clarion NX404 nav radio. So typically when we do an install here, what we do is we generally want to get all the wires equal length so that it makes it a little bit easier, a little bit neater when doing the install. Um, so the first thing you'll see here, we obviously have our ground, we have our constant, and then we have our accessory turns on with the key. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and trim these to a usable length. Go ahead and set these aside, not going to need them. And then we have our Metro harness. Uh, Metro makes it really easy for us to install the stereo because all the wires are color coded, allows us to plug directly into all of the factory wiring and makes it pretty simple. So there's a couple different methods that can be used um, for quick and easy. It's nice to go ahead and use buck connectors. Uh, typically not the best way to do it. Generally soldering and uh, heat shrink tubing would be the best way. However, for the sake of convenience and for this video, we'll just go ahead and butt connect these together. So we'll go ahead and line up our wiring. First, we'll start with the power wire. We'll need to go ahead and strip this. As a little tip when using butt connectors, we always bend the last quarter over, put in the connector, go ahead and crimp it. Same thing with here. You can see we'll just take this with our finger, bend it over, go ahead and place it in the butt connector. Make sure that it's in there nice and snugly and go ahead and crimp it. And then we're going to go ahead and just basically do that for all of our wire connections, including our speakers and power. So all I'm doing is just wiring up the colors based on color. Um, so you're obviously matching green, black to green, black, white, black to white, black, white to white. Uh, these are all color coded. So we're just going to keep doing that until basically we, we have them all done. So as you can see here, we have a complete harness. We've made it equal length, so it's very easy to plug into the vehicle, very easy to plug into the radio. This particular harness, being that this is a nav radio, we have speed sense and parking brake. These, we will have to make the connections directly in the vehicle as opposed to on the harness. This particular harness also does not have ground, so we do have to get ground in the vehicle by grounding to a source close to the radio. Um, so we'll have to wait till we get into the vehicle before we can connect these cables. Um, then obviously your connection directly to the radio is fairly straightforward and simple. You'll just go ahead and plug this in. Um, now what we need to do is obviously get it ready for the dash kit. So we'll go ahead and take care of that right now. So now we have the radio ready for the vehicle. Uh, we have the two uh, brackets attached to the radio. So now what we'll have to do is go ahead and take out the factory radio, go ahead and install this in place of it. Um, the dash kit that we have here is the 95-6522B, which is for the Dodge Ram. Uh, makes a real nice installation for all double dins. Uh, as you can see, it fits very, very nicely right over the unit and looks very, very nice. One thing that we typically do when we're doing an install is to test the wires by doing a continuity check with a voltmeter. We get asked the question quite often, how do you do a continuity check? 
Continuity check is basically a dead short. With any typical voltmeter, you can set it to continuity test, and if you were to connect the two leads together, you would hear a beep. And in this case, you did. So what we can do is we can use that to test the wiring to make sure our connections are good. So in this particular example, we're gonna go ahead and go test the yellow lead. Um, we just do that by placing the probe directly into the back of the harness through the yellow lead. And then we'll go ahead and connect it here. And then we can double check and you can hear the beep. So we do have continuity. Hopefully this short little tutorial helped with your next car audio install. If you liked our video, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you for watching.